G1000, talk to him, man. Talk to him. Where I'm from the streets, eat you alive. If you weak mind, it's cool or hard knock. My homie died with a B minor. And I never fall back on the ego, cause they kill kindness. Told me it was blood in that petition, but I still signed it. Lost some of your friends just like me. How you feel about it? Oh, you took a loss on the road. How you feel about it? You took out your first body, nigga. How you feel about it? You made your first 10 minutes, nigga. How you feel about it? How you feel about it? Feel about it. Headed through the storm. How you feel about it? Feel about it. And I was on my own, ain't had nobody. You been cheated on you too. Oh, how you feel about it? My boy said he got a story to tell. Now how to shoot before he can spell. He don't know that A plus four is who twelve. Any niggas flaws, fuck I'm stuck, man. They all got morals for sale. I can't even get over all the hate that you be showing. Me. Yeah, 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 man. You now tuned into me 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 million dollars worth of game. I'm Wallow two six seven. This right here is Gilly the Nut with my. Ho ho ho! And our special guest host, white girl. I said, I said what I said, man. I said what I said, man. Don't even. But hold up, that song of the week was G One Thousand. Feel about it, man. Listen, man. This is brought to you by Barstool Sports, man. Million dollars worth of game, man. Let me man. tell you something. I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna keep telling. Your voice you, is a little messed up. You got the. I think it you is. Can, listen. You you've been in the house. I don't know what's no, going on. No, the coronavirus on. got us in the house with me and Toot and the kid. Everybody been arguing. Y'all been arguing. <laughs> with each other? Fuck my voice up. You should hear it too. Her shit really fucked up. She cussed me and Nala the fuck out. Cabin fever. Yeah, yeah but we gotta uh, stop introducing me, man. I keep telling you that. Man. Introducing that ass. Shut up. We got a special guest, though. You yes. know, we said that we was going to start bringing people in. Yeah. And, people. and giving people a shot. Yes. An opportunity. Because that's what we do, right? That's the, that's the game. Million dollars worth of game. That's what we that's do. That's what it's about. Help so the fucking community. We got. Mona in the building, right? Yeah, yes. white girl. I call her white girl. I'm not. Look, gonna, I'm not. I'm not calling. No I'm fucking just saying black that's a real girl, name. White girl, but that's a real name. Listen, how you want me to call a black girl white girl? How you? First of all, how is you named white girl, and you black? Well, in the black community, when you light skin, you white girl, you white boy. So that's hence the name. Don't call me white girl because I'm not a white girl. I'm a hundred percent black. I'm a black girl. So, so if, I, if a mama, but they, but if people a mama call her white black, girl. I'm calling the black. But people call her white girl. Friends I'm calling the black girl. People call her white girl. You can call me she white say, girl. Uh, you, you say call don't me call Demona. me white girl. I'm gonna say I'm gonna call you black girl. You can call Listen, me Mona. Man, that's how the game goes. Uh, I'm man. call you Mona because a mama named a Mona. I'm gonna call her Mona. There you go. That'll what work. What's wrong with y'all? I'm happy to be here. Are you? Yes, I'm excited. Where are you from? I was a tad bit late. I'm from yeah, Philadelphia uh, originally. I'm going to just say this too. Oh, shit. You, you're starting all fucked up. Wow. He's a nut ass nigga. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 wow. no. Fuck that. You're starting off. How the fuck you come to a new job late on the first motherfucking day? He did come late. That was I'm just cool. saying, you're starting off yeah, a little late. fucked up. Can you believe one of them kids got corona? Hmm. I couldn't believe it. I was so upset. Which one? One of mine. Get the fuck out of here. You fucking like, stop like shit. It so went, but it sounded like that would be like was, That was some deep shit. Where you think That'd like, been okay, some deep all right, you got it. I was like, Make oh, sure you stay up on that mic. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, okay, okay let me get up on close. All yeah, right, mic know. check, one, two, Absolutely. one, two. I'm here. I'm Damona. I'm AKA from white girl. Oh, okay. Originally, um, I live in Delaware. I represent both. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Philly weird. All right, so we, you know. We're going to make it happen. You ready? I'm a comedian. I'm hilarious. Are you? And I'm super excited to be well, here. Well, we'll let the people uh, determine if you're okay. hilarious or not. Okay. White girl. Okay. This episode <laughs> of Million Dollars Worth of Game is Million brought to you by SeatGeek. SeatGeek. Listen, everybody out there, right? Download the SeatGeek app. You feel me? Download the SeatGeek app right now. You know, SeatGeek is the shit. I use SeatGeek all the time. I use SeatGeek to get our tickets to the mm, okay. to the uh, was the Super Bowl. And then I used it to get us our tickets to the uh, NBA All Star Game. Yeah. And me and Toot use SeatGeek to get tickets to concerts and everything. Yeah. But see, this is the best thing about SeatGeek. 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 Okay. This is the best thing about them. They rate every ticket from a zero to ten, so they make sure that you get the best ticket for your dollar. So me and you both can have fifty dollars tickets, mm. but my fifty dollar ticket is down here, and your fifty dollar ticket is up there. Mm. SeatGeek, make sure you know that you're getting the best ticket 
for your dollar. You the feel best what ticket. I'm saying? Right. And plus, the best thing about it also is everything is fully guaranteed, every purchase. So you get your money back if you decide not to go. And all you got to do is just download the SeatGeek app, put the promo code in GAME, you hear me? GAME, G-A-M-E, and you'll receive $10 off your first Seat Geek purchase. Sounds like a purchase. Go. Seat Geek. Seat Geek. Okay, let's get into a million dollars worth of game, man. First of all, um, off camera, you was telling us, you know, some things about you. Off camera is off camera. Oh, okay, cool. All right, bet. I'll just, you know, but we, this is, a, this is where we live our troops. I, I hope you don't get this far. I'm bullshit. Up. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Everything's you know. on the table. Oh, okay, let's cool. Let's get it. Okay, cool. We're going to get into that a little later. First Let's of all, get into man, the I gotta, sad part, man. I got to get into camera, you sad. coughed. Tell him that. Yeah, I did cough. Twice. <laughs> fuck you talking about. Listen, I'm going to say this. Fuck you talking about. Fuck I'm going to say this. Fuck I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this. Both of you two goofy motherfuckers got to calm down because it's a real sad moment for me personally right now. Uh, rest in peace to Kenny Rogers. For anybody who know me, they know how important this song is to me, The Gambler. Uh, they thought they was talking about gambling. I knew that the song was based off retreat when danger come. When you know that danger is arriving, that song played in my mind many times. It saved me, saved my life. Uh, during my journey through the rough streets of Philadelphia, it was times when if that song wasn't available to my mind, if I wasn't exposed to that song, I would have stayed when danger would arrive and I would have tried to be a tough guy. But Kenny Rogers created the song, The Gambler, You Got to Know When to Fold Them. Know when to hold them, um, know when to walk away and know when to run. Them important words, know when to walk away and know when to run. Them words that helped me through my journey and put protection on me. That was my personal insurance when I was in the streets. Uh, rest in peace to All you. All I'm just saying listen, is we you just, was a bitch ass listen, nigga. Yeah, whatever. Touching, run. Rest in, no, no, thank you. Touching. Rest in peace. Rest in nigga peace. knew when to fuck to run. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. To the one and only, when, the gambler. Dead, I'll lose uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, long, okay. long, long live Rogers, man. Long live Kenny Rogers. Long live Kenny. Rest in peace to him. And I also want to give a rest in peace shout out to Roger Mayweather. For anybody right. don't know about this yes, legendary, sir. legendary, legendary, he's legend. trainer. I'm just legendary to say trainer. Like this, nigga, nigga, this is me. That was okay, his father, for nigga, real. Nigga, fuckers, you talk about. I, I know sports. You don't know shit about sports. Yeah, whatever. You want to talk about sit here, talk about Kenny. Kenny don't give a fuck about your black ass. Yes, he do. You ain't here. Kenny taught me something. You got to know. Wow, well, I'm sorry hook. for your no loss. Yeah, thank you. I no appreciate that. It's away. special in no my heart. Nowhere in the wow. run. That was his whole fucking anthem in jail. You got to know where in the wall. Now, away. one thing about me. <laughs> no way in the run. There's a lot of dudes that wish they had that song that's not with us no more. A lot of dudes in the graveyard. They wish they had that song to play in their mind. They know when to hold and they knew when to retreat. Him. Because you know what? You know, being tough, that's the thing where we come from. Oh, I'm a tough guy. Oh, you're dead now. You did, tough guy. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Hey, Can you, we have a moment of silence for these no, state trooper no, you glasses? Know, you know what else? No, you don't. You know no, what you else should be dead? See, you don't know fly. You, you know never deal with no playboys. You, you know never what, deal with no fly. You this know is, what else should be dead? What? It should be burnt the fuck up. Them naked finger fucking gloves you nah, got. No, nah, this nigga. is style. Little baby had these on. Yeah, yeah, little baby had these on Instagram. Yeah, I seen three niggas in the last motherfucking month with them joints on. The glasses are making me uncomfortable. For what? I Why? Because you look like you, you look like you, you look like you stand outside of fucking high school. You look with like you're doing a control and stalk by. little girls, nigga. That's no, why no, no, you, you got the little girl take, glasses. Take that fucking smut off my name. Don't put that on my name. You look These like right you're doing control buys. I don't stand for shit. Are you affiliated like, with any police? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Take that smut off my name. Don't Listen, do that. He do look like. Don't do that. He do look like you came here with Mark Money. He do look like Officer Donut. Yeah, I ain't doing nothing. I'm a mom. They specialize. I will say if you look like you say I'm retired from the armed forces or something. I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Chris, can you dump these glasses in the bucket of water right. just for me to feel hey, comfortable? This nigga got the goddamn, he got the goddamn, the terminate, no, what's the? State the, trooper Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Who is that nigga? You got the Why Robo cop. Pop, pop, so, the Watch everybody up. start wearing these again. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, well, I seen little baby did had them gloves on after you. I can imagine bugs just dead on your lenses. Not, but he did have them motherfucking yeah. glasses on after you, man. Rest in peace to Roger Mayweather, man. For sure. Uh, and Kenny Rogers. Roger he just crazy Mayweather. Roger and Roger, he man. He raised him, right? That's like his Chris, father. He, that was like his father, deep. right? Well, somewhat. You know, his father is his father. But that was his uncle who taught him how to box a little bit, trained him. That don't make him your father. But, um. I mean, I just had to, you know, slow you up. He slid bit. some shit in your <laughs> closet. He said sometimes right. you got, you know, you got to check right. it so she respect mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. But um, you know, I, yeah, everybody know I fuck with that boxing shit. So rest in peace to Roger Mayweather, man. Because most shit, most people don't know shit about boxing. 
Everybody know that was one of his legendary quotes right there. Let's get into me and Osworth for game. My man. coach, it wasn't it wasn't my uncle. Everybody know Karate Earl was my coach. He was like an uncle to me, and it was right. a it was a it was a moment like when he was going. I was in jail. It that shit hit me. I was in a cell. Somebody told me that shit. I ain't believe him because I know a lot of times people when you was, when you're somebody people will lie about stuff. Yeah, they say Karate Earl. That's like yeah, get the fuck out of here. And, he, and when I when I made the phone call and I found out. It was it was really emotional for me in jail. You broke down. I'm sorry to yeah, hear broke that, down. but Fuck I ain't learning you. karate Why from no I? nigga named Why? Earl. Love you, but see, you don't even know. You you really don't understand how deep he is. No disrespect. What I'm saying, but I'm saying like that shit was hard. That, to be in jail and your sensei die, a person wow. that taught you everything from you when you was knee high to yeah yeah when you, you was knee high to butterfly, all that shit. So you know it's cool though, but you know rest in peace. Now, let's talk about this coronavirus, man. Oh, before we get into the corona thing, while we inside of the corona thing. We got to give a shout out to some special people that nobody that always go in knowledge. Wait, hold on. They say Roger Mayweather died because of the coronavirus. No. Yes. He had the Roni. Get out of here. Not the Roni. Roni. I, I didn't read that, but that's. I did. That's Roni. not reported by me. Roni that's reported by me. I'm just saying. I, I don't know. It came up on the block. Hip Hop Overload is the site. It said Roger Mayweather dies from coronavirus. We got to look into that. But you know, he already had other illnesses. Okay. That was documented on the 24 yeah, 7. You feel what I'm saying? So it could be possible. Man. One thing about this, I want to say this to everybody. I want to say two things. I want to give a shout out to all the people during this time, this virus jumping off, during this time that nobody pays attention to. You know, we live in a world where everything is based off celebrity, everything is based off popularity and what you wear, what you own, and all that shit. We never pay attention to the nurses. All the people that's out there on the ground level. I'm talking about that's on ground zero. Mm -hmm. You got people that's going into hospitals every day, putting their lives, putting their health on a, on a line mm -hmm. just to take care of everybody else and just to make sure everything, they're doing the testing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing the testing. Everybody that's out there feeding those people, the elderly mm -hmm. people, people that don't, people that can't get, you know, all the transportation that's going on out there. To, I'm talking about I was on the road. I seen so many tractor trailers delivering food, going here, going there. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's out there that's putting their health on the line that's leave, they got to lead a family every day and just don't know. Just for the record, though, you know health is with a TH, not with a F. You just said health. Yeah, well, how about I say the health? Shout out to North Philly. Listen, health. Uh -huh. Listen, at, at the end of the day, it's the, the fact of you got people that's leaving their families every day and don't know if they're going to be get infected, bring that back to their home. Uh, just, just putting everything on the line for everybody. For the and greater good of everybody. the prostitutes and the drug dealers. No, they don't. They, they, service they, right now. The streets are empty. What you got to say about that? What? what about the streets being with the prostitutes? The whole stroll. No, OnlyFans is popping right now. It's jumping. It, it what about is. the old school hoes that don't have the, the smartphones? They ain't getting no money. Well, old York Road. Shout out to Old York Road. The trannies. Damn. 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 Everybody, every piece of this puzzle is getting affected by this thing. Okay? It, uh, that's that. Every piece of the puzzle is definitely, definitely getting affected by. In the bottom of the but bottom, you bottom. Oyo Road. <laughs> she Oyo Road. The trannies of for anybody Oyo Road. don't know know about Oyo Road. Up, that's uh, that's, <laughs> that's a, a deep dark listen place. for anybody. Hold up. For anybody that's, that's out there, represent. that's not from Philadelphia, that don't know nothing about Oyo Road. <laughs> Oyo Road is one of Gilly legendary old the stomping grounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's stomping grounds. Used to post up out there. Used to post up on the back block. That's what he used to call you back block Gilly. Used to post up on the back. Listen, on everything, used to post up on the back block. Gil used to post up on the back block. He was allegedly he was selling tax with limitation ran out, but allegedly he said he was selling drugs. But I've never seen him serving nobody. But he's always like, no, this is my post. This is my block right here. I'm posting up out here. No, Gil was posting up right near, right next to. I mean, where. Where it was going down. I'm talking about it was it was a lot of electric slides going on, and he was always playing the music. He was the DJ and the dancer, so I don't know First what's going all, on. Dog, we ain't gonna be bringing up no 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 old shit because we remember when they used to call you Locust Street Low. Ooh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we remember no, when they no, used to call happened, you Locust Street Low. Okay, can I explain? This L what LSL. Thicken. Oh, you know Locust Street Low? No, this is what happened. It's not like he's saying, yeah. I will clear this up. Let me get that name. Let me clear let me, it let me, up. Let me just listen. Let me just get that, put some detergent no on, my name. on my name. I'm going to just say this. I was not Locust Street Low. It was just that they had a good sandwich shop downtown, and it was just in the rainbow section of the city. I'm not saying it was a good sandwich shop. <laughs> they was calling me Locust Street Low. Me, listen, and I, I don't care. I didn't mind. I was like, that's what you want to do. You know, that's what you're into because I respect it. No judgment here. It's, it's, no listen, judgment, but me and my we, man, we listen, go act listen, like they wasn't calling you Locust Cable Street Dave, Low. No, no, no. My man Cable Dave. A.K.A. Daube, he put me down with a spot downtown. It was, it was a sandwich joint. He was like, yo, this, they got some hell of a good sandwiches down there. Yeah. I'm like, damn, dog. I'm like, damn, they, man, they right there in there. Dog, like, no, they cool. Like, we ain't on that. So they had great sandwiches and soups at this well, let me spot. Just say that's this, another man. story. Shout out to everybody who is helping out. Everybody that's, that's helping out, man. That's yeah. and, uh, and, 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 you know, let's shout out the most important thing, you know, 
He fuck sports up, man. No, no, that's not the most important <laughs> thing. Is, See, that's why you're a nut ass nigga. The most is, important man. thing that I want to say, I want to send my condolences to everybody out there that lost a family member yeah, around the world. That's the most from important this, thing. From this okay. vicious virus. The second most important thing, man, they yes. fucking cancel sports, man. Shit, man. I only know a couple sports play. I really don't care like about they, sports. Like, they cancel schools. Like, first of all, if it affect the young people, send them little motherfuckers to school, man. I want to speak for all the moms in this trying time. For real, I can't even, like, you can't um, even get a fresh blaze in the motherfucking crib right now. Yes, Baby deaths are probably going to spike. Bitches going to be riding them Hondas in the lakes, blaming them on black men. Them children are getting on your nerves, and all the moms, I'm praying for y'all out there. I really am. Cause the Damn. niggas just eat and fart and shit and eat and don't nobody flush. It's always a turd. It's always some tissue. Okay, welcome to be a mom. Damn, that's deep shit. Y'all don't know. Men don't know. From a mom perspective, y'all don't know how hard it is. So, so we don't know how hard it is to be a mom. No, how many times you walk into the bathroom and you see a turd? Okay, so let me ask you a question. In relationships, then who hold it down? Who hold it down? The, who hold it down better in relationships in twenty twenty? The men or the women? The motherfucking women. The women is holding shit down. <clears throat> I'm gonna say that the women is actually holding shit down out here, and you know it. And ain't no ain't no men holding shit down. Listen, niggas if you ain't holding shit. I hold shit down. I come from that era. I hold shit down. I'm old school nigga. We 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 the man hold shit down. Use a dinosaur. What's, what's holding shit down? Well, let, 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 let's break it down. Use a unicorn. Oh, from a from a women perspective, uh, what, no, you know that word unicorn. You know what that is for women. The unicorns, right? The ones that yeah. like them. you don't know what a unicorn is. They, they 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 just be out there single and they like to slide in them relationships. Absolutely, unicorn. No, when I call him a unicorn, I ain't I'm talking about that. He's one and one and one and one okay. none. So so ask her, ask popular. her the question. He's about I want to ask this question: What is holding it down as a man? Explain to us what a man when when, when a woman say this dude holding it down. What is that? What do that look like? A woman. Step up to the mic. Thank you. <clears throat> there you go. You coughing all on that fucking mic. Right. I know you, 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 you got the fucking room. The you might only got that. motherfucker that coughed in here was Gilly the King. No, you just Thank fucking coughed. The <laughs> King of Philly. The snitch King back. of he Philly. Snitch back. He coughed. Period. Snitch back. He coughed. I cleared my throat. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, just make sure you clear that motherfucker up with that. Oh, so, so what is that? What do that look like? What do a man holding it down look like? Listen, honestly, all jokes aside, is a, a man holding it down is a man that you don't have to ask for things. He sees what's going on. You know what I mean? He sees that the sink is fucking fucking up in the car is put 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 and he handles that you don't have to ask him and the man paid a big bill the man gives you wi-fi bill trash what about what about the whole mortgage do they pay mortgages the, the man paid the mortgage and the taxes on the mortgage and the taxes on the tax on the mortgage and then mortgage insurance and you ain't even supposed to ask to do this so so if you so so where did that come from no this when it come when it comes to bills i feel like Especially if you're talking about purchasing a home, you set that up, y'all talk, y'all, y'all talk that out. What we gonna do? So but what about the men? General, okay, so what about men that go fifty fifty? They ain't holding it down. Well, a man that goes fifty fifty probably takes a pinky up his asshole too. Damn, how you just gonna yeah, disrespect that man? Throw, I said it. Wait, how you just gonna throw a pinky in a nigga's ass? Because he, he go 50, 50, 50 on the. You I come from an era. You date a guy, get you a squatter or an apartment. Over the to explain store. to what a, what a squatter is. A people squatter is a cheap vehicle <laughs> without a check engine light. That's a Philly slinging. You know, it gets you from A to fucking B and sometimes to C in the summer. Okay, so back in the day, niggas And this was, was the dude you was, niggas was blazing. Back in the day oh, when wait, I step drunk. to the mic. Back in the day, niggas was blazing you for a squatter, huh? Okay, now So Gilly hold on, so there. let me just say something. All right, I see okay, how no, we doing. No, see that shit. no, I'm asking, no, no I'm, I'm asking you a question. So <laughs> no. back in the day, if a nigga would have bought you a, 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 a celebrity, a, a, a fucking- uh, Grand Marquis. A, 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 okay, if a nigga would have bought you an 88 Grand Marquis, he had got a, a, a goddamn- 99. A 99. Luxury edition. A Damn. luxury edition. Electric seat. What year was Electric you in? Seat. What year was that in? What year was it when I was getting it? Yeah. 04, 05. Okay, so so if it, so it could be four or five years back. No, 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 no. A that, squatter has to be at least no, no, seven no, no, years no, old. No, 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 no. That that ain't no fucking squatter. If a nigga buy you a car in '99, that's like a saying a motherfucker right now who got a 2016 is in a squatter. No, if a nigga pulled up right now with a 2016 fucking Maybach, you like. We not talking about no Maybach. If a nigga pulled up in a 20, if a, a girl 2016 pulled up in a 2016, Kia Sedona, it's a fucking squatter. No, it's not a squatter. That's not a squatter. A squatter is a a squatter is a motherfucking a squatter is a motherfucking car that's old as shit. A squatter ain't no motherfucking car that's four years the fuck old. If that's the case, everybody's driving fucking squatters. Any whore 
In my era, you got a fucking squat in an apartment. Right. So if it was 2010 and that nigga bought you a 2000, your shit. Hold the fuck up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So you're saying my 2000. And 10 Prius is a fucking squatter? Yes, it just became a squatter. Fuck is wrong with you? Oh, now that car. Once your shit get a decade on it, it's a fucking squatty. But I didn't have it for a decade. It don't matter. Somebody else had that motherfucker. How many for times a do you have to stretch when you get out that little motherfucker? No, that joint is no. It's, tell him it's comfortable. Ain't it? mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cities we rolled to in that joint? Right. You had to show me because I, I just it looks uncomfortable like, from the outside. You tripping? I come from an era where a nigga was excited to buy you something. He said, "Oh, look what I did, little young girl. I did this and that." Nowadays, these niggas want you to do something for them. Like what? What they want you to do for them? They want a fucking outfit. They want a goddamn game system. They don't want to pay no bills. So, is it a lot of women you ever going through that right outfit? now? You, how many outfits you bought? I bought an outfit. Uh, a or how many? One. How many do? How many? So do you, you only bought nigga one fit in your whole life. You yes. gonna sit here and lie? No, One I fucking fit. How many pairs of sneaks you bought? I never bought sneaks. How many haircuts you paid for? I didn't pay for a few haircuts. What about weed? So man? let me ask you a question. Oh yeah, she. You ain't gotta ask that. You Hold know up, she. Hold up, what you person. ain't gotta ask? I don't have to ask. You done bought some niggas some weed. weed. No, I let that nigga hit the weed. I've never purchased no man no goddamn weed. Well, you purchased the weed. Listen, I was raised that. You, you purchased don't do the weed. Things. I purchased the weed. We smoked it together. Right, okay. You, you didn't go you smoke the that weed with some, nobody. No, I let him get high with me. But you bought the weed. I let him get it high with me. But you bought the weed. And he rolled it in, walked you, the store. No, okay, but you provided the so, marijuana. So did you buy the blunts too? You I didn't the... even buy the weed. The weed man gave me the weed for free. Bitches is, listen, bitches well, if he get you, down. Or if he gave you the weed for free. I don't something. even buy weed. But let me just tell you but something. But hold that's something else. Let me just tell you something. That's another yeah, story if you ain't buy the weed. Way, but we just want to stick to, to the nigga. We'll stick so, to it. So even if you did, let me tell you something. This is getting deep. Let's go. I just snapped on my daughter the other day because I was like, when you and the little nigga go out, you be paying for shit? What did she say? No, I don't pay for nothing. Oh, okay. Because you, you better not be paying for shit. Because we got a rule in this motherfucking house. If a nigga can't feed you, he don't need you. Listen. Fuck is wrong with you. How the fuck mm. you go out with a nigga and you pay for him to fuck to eat? Well... I don't give a fuck about the millenniums. He better he better tap into some old school shit then. Is this nigga a pastor? You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, oh. at the end of the day, if my daughter would have paid for a nigga to eat, more than likely I was giving her the money. So you didn't so, pay for So so just because you the weed for no, just because the weed man gave you the weed oh. that weed was still yours. Let me tell you something. And you shared it with a nigga. Listen. So you put the nigga on. You you no, provided weed for no, the nigga. No, he walked to the poppy. He bought the Dutch. I let him smoke. I let he rolled it and we smoked together. Oh, all right. That's crazy, man. So there's a lot of women out here buying fits. Listen, women are buying dick. I think I think now's the time women really getting money. And at this point, it's just you putting it in the budget. Like I want some young cock. I gotta buy the stick of Xbox. Me personally, I couldn't do it. Kitty cat don't get wet. I got to buy you shit. It's just it's unattractive. I might as well mm. fuck you, you know. You ever fucked a nigga? Like with a strap in his ass? No, uh, never. But did you ever feel like you God was damn, fucking a nigga? Dude. Like, shut up, nigga, yeah. I feel like I should have fucked my baby father with a strap. How, how, how much information oh, y'all want? What's your baby father name? Chuck. Why you isn't gonna hit Chuck in the ass with the- no, What type of- like he would have liked it. Damn, but why is it? Is this? Shots fired. Uh, yes. Damn, Where's she the just threw. I don't fuck she with just it. threw Chucky I don't under fuck the fucking bus. 50-50. I don't know. She threw because he was fifty fifty. I don't know. You know. She, she threw Chucky Anybody the fuck 50 /50, under the bus. She just... Listen, she threw him under the bus, rolled over him, and reversed it. She, Damn. She fucked it. No, but seriously, I, I come from there. What did Chucky era, do to you though? And for you, for, for you to want to put all out of salt on Chucky's ass. He's an excellent father. There's no judgment here. If you want to well, okay, so, so why did you just put an all out assault on a million dollars worth of game that on, on Chucky's all ass? All I said was if I could have fucked any of my exes with a strap in his asshole, I would have picked him. Can you stay close to the mic? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm very right. physical. Thank you. I want this point to be made. I come from an era where niggas like to buy you something. You bitches living in an era where these niggas want you to buy them something. Okay, and it's tax time, bitch. Stop letting them fuck up your refund. Okay? He gonna tell you he gonna flip that money. He's not gonna flip it. He gonna he's fuck not. that money up well, every was, tax time. He fuck that money up again and again and again. You let that money up. Why well, you don't buy you twist. some fanny packs to flip your own tax money? No, but this the old twist. A dude that go, ladies, 
uh, no disrespect, but a dude that could flip that money, he already flipping money before your money is even involved in anything. Uh. He already getting paper. A hustler is already out here operating. Uh. He's not sitting around in the crib Wait. eating up all the motherfucking cereal, talking about something. He waiting for your shit to land. No, no, he's not but no see, hustler. What about when they come to the story and say, oh, the pot broke, the pigs come, the police came, I threw the you, no, you gonna make it happen. All I need you to do is. You're going to make it happen. You're going to make it happen. Oh, Demona ain't making a goddamn thing. No, I ain't saying thing. you. I'm talking about, uh, listen, if you if you a hustler, you're going to hustle. See, everybody keeps talking about, oh, I'm this and that. No. See, one thing about it, you got different type of people. You got drug dealers and you got hustlers. Mm -hmm. A drug dealer is somebody that needs drugs to get money. Mm -hmm. A hustler is somebody that can sell shit to a diarrhea ass on the toilet. They'll sell you this paper right uh -huh. here and you don't even need it. That's don't what forget about the take money, listen, niggas. Listen, take listen, money, yeah, that money, too. money, take money, Or whatever, money, but money. what I'm saying is, and I'm not talking about no, no illegal shit. Okay. If you're a right. grind, you got people out here that's hustling jobs, got two, three jobs. Right. They grind, they grind up and, and they stacking their paper, they building right. up, they, they, and they getting on their Speaking feet. Speaking of jobs, you know what debate been going on a lot on Twitter? Nine to five guy or the street guy. Some women will never date a nine to five guy. Yeah, no, but see, this the whole stupid. twist though. This the whole twist and though. I'm gonna say this though. Shout out to all the nine to five guys because I'm gonna say this. Let me tell you something. How you gonna do it, baby girl? All you chicks out there, I don't wanna date a nine to five dude. Right. Let me tell you something very important. You don't want to date a nine to five dude, so you want to date a ten to twenty dude. Mm -hmm. What the fuck you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Talking about, oh no, I he got a job. When that, not, that nine to that five boy, twenty, the nine to five boy still gonna be out here getting money, living his life every day, stacking it up, building building his whole career, his life up and his career up and all that stuff. By the time ten to twenty get done doing that ten to twenty, and he's gonna have a nine to five in jail for forty two cent. So by the time he get back, my man, he gonna be able to travel the world, own his home, but listen, be retired. No, by the time that nigga get done yeah. doing that ten to twenty, if you're still with him, you probably done had about ten to twenty different <laughs> dicks up in you. Think about that. No, the girl that wants the guy that she won't date the nine to five guy, she's selfish. She's not riding no bid with him. She's only in it for the money. Even if a woman is a man, if you meet a woman that's but she might shit, have a kid, so you're done. Fuck with the Once nine you have a kid, you stuck with him. You stuck with him though. Uh, what I'm saying is that the lady that's looking for the street nigga, she's you, you only hit in it for right. money anyway. You, you hit, but no, but she's her, not in it for a family. But her, she's more material. She's a lot of them chicks is the more materially joint. They just a part of the. They just a part I'm of the, the opposite. I don't. I wouldn't date a street guy. Everything that comes with a street guy, I buried a guy before. It's just it's not a good feeling. I, I would never take another street nigga serious. Never. It's nothing attached to them but jail or death. And if you lawyer, you will go to jail with him because them people gonna come and ask you. Y'all went to Aruba. You know you bitches go to jail for going on vacation. People don't know that. Mm -hmm. Spending how you go, that drug money. Mm -hmm. So you've been to jail though. Yeah, I've been to jail. How long? How long you was in jail for? Um, I did a year. Did before. you do the sizzle? Oh, you, oh no, no, that's a real bit. You're doing stories oh, from the cell today. Wait, wait. Did you we do the sizzle later? In there? I have never done anything with a woman and not even. Did anybody rip your jumper off in jail? No, but. Um, no, we'll talk about it later, Gil. Yeah. Story from the cell. I mean, jail. You know, Somebody anything about. Pussy. I can see it in your face. Somebody I would tell that pussy. you, I really you would. Lying like, like a motherfucker. This is my thing, and somebody I'm curious. ain't that pussy. No, I'm curious lying about. Like a I'm, I'm curious about fucking. I can with look a girl. in the motherfucker eyes. I, I talk to motherfuckers for a living. I'm looking at I already yeah. looked in your eyes. Somebody ain't that pussy in that pen. Rock that mic. I have never somebody in my life in done pen. anything with a girl. Not even a kiss. Not a you, finger. Not a me, hug. Let me tell you something. You did a year up in it. Yes, I did a year in FDC. Shout out to FC, FDC, free to jails. You know what I smell. What the? What you smell? A motherfucking liar! Somebody ate that pussy. I've never dated a girl, tell. honestly. They, 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 and I'm curious, but it's my ate thing. The shit out if I'm going to date, if I'm going to date a woman, I want to date a woman. I can look at her background. You know, smokers, crackheads go to jail, gain weight, and they look amazing in three months. And then well, they walk well, around with straight bags. Well, That's well, not who eating this. Well, that is because you know what's crazy. Fuck it. But, uh, but no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Take some crackheads. It's just regular. No, no. People. Fuck that. Now I know I what's going on. Crack this motherfucker had a crackheads is regular people. He, he, I know he, what it is. He broke his fucking virginity with Every a crackhead. Every nigga I know what it is. He, he broke his virginity no, no, no. with a crackhead. I'm gonna tell you some shit like this. You broke your fucking virginity with a crackhead. Both of you fuck crackheads. Crack 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 don't you ever downplay no both of you fuck crackheads. Nigga, you came into the game with a crackhead. My hand job. You stepped in the game with a crackhead. I had a hand job. My first hand was fucking hand job, bitch. Yeah, it was a kiss and a hand job. What? Not a not a crackhead. It wasn't with a crackhead. It wasn't no crackhead. I know you kissed him with a regular girl. I got a hand. You just was supposed to go lying, there and play so you kiss the bitch. He's lying. Can I explain something to you? Kiss Cheryl, I just want to explain something to you. For the ladies, Cheryl, now I don't know, I know what's what going you on. Kiss Cheryl. No, hold up. Now I know no, what you're saying. You kiss Cheryl, bro. He had a fucking apartment Dog, up by State Road. Cheryl. Now he's a catch. Dog, All the chicks that came home from jail. Kiss Cheryl. All the crackheads when they got sick. No, fuck Listen, y'all. No, I ain't talking about her. I'm talking about we the girl. Have to I ain't got the hand job from her. I'm talking about the regular girl. To the lady that's watching. And y'all love those street niggas. And y'all love those drug dealers. Your first was a talk. Nigga, you better back that fucking smoker. 
Six. And right, we was down by Benjamin Franklin School on the South Block, nigga. And I got in the car. I had the Pontiac Sunbird, nigga. You bear backed on the back seat, and I was out there, and I was on the corner watching the cops. So don't fucking put no sweat bear on my name. Back? I was watching the cops. You like I ain't got no head. I'm like, is that like, raw dog? He bear backed. He, he fucking bear. He bear backed. He, he bear backed. I want all the women watching you out. Know, if you date he a drug lied, dealer, he fucked the crackhead. Dog, you gonna put that sweat on right my next name? Right You know that small block right there. And I got out the car. And I had a great Pontiac Sunbird. I went to jail. Don't do that. Don't fucking do this. Cause you trying to put this fuck on my name. What make it so crazy? What make it so fucking crazy is that. He mixing in some real <laughs> shit with some bullshit. He did have a great body. Yeah, some bird. No, he was Before in the back. Went to jail. Right Can next we to please explain to these ladies what's going on? It, if y'all let them street niggas, every street nigga you know lost his virginity to a crackhead. No, fuck is you talking about? You tripping. Both of them Ain't nobody fuck trying crackheads. Hear that. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. So y'all never had sex with a crackhead? No, and listen, I don't want to hey, assume uh, you sold uh, drugs, yeah, but if you, you sold, sold drugs, you got some coochie from a crackhead. Let me tell you something. And, and it's, nobody's not trying to hear that shit. I, I can look in your eyes and tell. I ain't never got no He did. He barebacked it too. Pussy from no crackhead. That was wild. Did you get a dick suck from a crackhead? Oh, you gonna lie? You gonna lie? You gonna lie? Oh, you never got it. You got it. I ain't gonna say no dick suck. I'm talking about the basement. I'm talking about nanny basement. Switch! No talk. We ain't speaking on no dick suck. Like I said, you dated a nanny basement. You was asshole neck in the nanny basement. You was asshole neck. All you think you had on was your socks. You was asshole neck. And you was under the sheet. This episode. 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 We you now we want to bring you back, but you better shut the fuck up. <laughs> ass hey, hey, shut, shut the fuck up. This yeah, episode, this episode, hey, this episode. Uh, see, I, y'all, he done fuck me up. He bringing up old shit, man. This fucking episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by C D B M D. Hey, listen, if you don't know about C B D, y'all know I'm I'm into that shit heavy. CBD is the shit. You got back pain, neck pain, anxiety, arthritis. CBD is the shit, man. Y'all need to get down with this shit. I'm telling y'all, y'all, y'all every, for everybody that watch me on my lives, y'all always see I be having all the CBD, the lotions, the soaps, the gummies. The This shit really works, man. CBDMD just came out with the new CBD. PM soft gels. So if you saying, oh, you can't get no sleep. Oh, uh, I pay for a good night's worth of sleep. Uh, you could do it now. All you got to do is get some CBD PM soft gels. And how you do that is you go to CBDMD.com. You punch in the promo game, the promo code game. That's CBDDM.com. I'm sorry, my throat a little ar- fucked up. I told you I was arguing and shit. CBD md.com put the promo code game in you're gonna get 25 percent off your first purchase of the cbd products listen i'm gonna tell y'all again if y'all not up on cbd you need to be up on it if you can't sleep if you got neck pain back pain arthritis i mean they got all the products the soaps the lotions the gummies everything man don't cheat yourself treat yourself cbdmd.com Make sure y'all get them PM soft gels. Put promo you right. Code. What's the promo put you, code? Put you right to sleep. Promo code game. Game. Right. Now Dang. back to what I was saying is, uh, I'm not even gonna talk about any basement. I'm gonna take that back. I ain't gonna say. Oh, please don't don't do that. All right, but uh, All right. as we move on, listen, man. Let's go real friends versus fake friends. Uh, a, 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 a fake friend. We we living in a world where there were so many fake friends and and the way that the measuring stick that you use for fake friend tell a motherfucker no three four times yeah no 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 three four times nigga you want to find out if a motherfucker is really your friend all you gotta do is tell him no once what you feel about that right all you gotta do is tell him no once because if a motherfucker can't accept that the fact that you telling them no they gonna start showing distance they gonna start acting different. They gonna start. A real friend could take a no. All right, cool, and we still gonna keep it moving, because a real friend understand that you got real shit going on in your life too. Okay. It's, it's, it's not just about what I got going on in my life and my problems. And you, a motherfucker. First of all, friendship don't have nothing to do with what a motherfucker could do for you. Friendship is about how I treat you. And how you treat me. And 
how we vibe when we together, how we don't mind being around each other and kicking it and talking about different topics. And because let's be for real, you got certain motherfuckers, as soon as you walk into a place, they could be there. You know you ain't staying on. But, but it's a friend, man, somebody, you know, growing up, growing up, I had friends sometime, whereas though, was they my friend because they was willing to risk their freedom and their life? But when real shit came, these are the same people. They wouldn't stop past my grandma's house and right. check on her when I was in jail. Right. But at the same time, I'm thinking, because you got a lot of young cats out here, they got to have a misconception of what a homie is and what friends mm -hmm. is. Right. Yeah. Like, oh no, when it's time to do some dumb shit, when it's time to go violate some people, violate some property, violate the environment, oh, you my homie. But if I go to jail, is you going to stop past my, 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 and see my child? Is you going to stop past and see my mom, see right. how she doing, she got any groceries? Like, like right. during this time right now, there's a bunch of dudes that put their lives on the line for dudes. They in the penitentiary or they dead, whatever they at. And at that time, these had this loyalty, this crime loyalty. But is any of you niggas out there stopping by to go call anybody or go check on Boo Boo that got killed or mm -hmm. the dudes that rest in peace? My my day one, or mm -hmm. you, I'm I'm gonna forever mention your name. They ain't gonna never forget you. Is y'all hollering any of their grandmoms or their people's doing this trying time, Fuck doing this Corona time? Oh no, all that homie shit will go out the way. Mm -hmm. So you got to be real mindful of who you call your homie, who you have around you, and w and what it's about. It's not about somebody that always gives. About somebody that's gonna be real with you, gonna tell you the truth, even when they, even when it ain't, it don't sound right or it don't feel right. They're gonna give it to you just like that, and it, it ain't gonna be about what you could take. It's gonna be mutually beneficial. That's what a real I friendship like is about. I feel like you got a title them things right. Every every relationship you in, you can't just call it a friend. I mean, I got girlfriends. That's the club bitch. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I got girlfriends. That's the you know shop with bitch. I got girlfriends that. But if I call you my friend, I could trust you. The number one thing I'm looking for is a pull up. I need to be able somebody to call me and say I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. You know, like you need to and, not do that. Right. And, that's and a real friend, to me. a real friend is going. A real friend is going to check you. Check the shit out of you. Whether whether they feel like it's going to tarnish the relationship or not, a real friend is going to always be like, "No, bro, I don't agree with that. Right. I don't agree with it." If you got a nigga around you that agree with everything, he ain't no friend. Yeah. But check you with love, though. That nigga's and a puppet. Because I feel like you missed the that message. nigga got strings in his back. You feel what I'm saying? Any nigga that you can make do like this. Yes, man. They got strings in it. Every nigga that I hang with, we have disagreements and arguments. I can't say arguments, but you know how it is. Nigga, you crazy. Yeah, I, don't right, have, right, I don't right. have arguments with you. I just check you in that No, ass. no, you ain't never check me, I check me, the nigga. fuck out of you. You ain't never check me. First of all, nigga with them glasses on and never check me, Fuck is mad with you. These legendary the glasses you on. you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about world champions award. These fucking type of like glasses. Steven you know what type of linebackers and motherfucking athletes, top flight athletes in war glasses like this. You know how I mean? type of hell of a guys. Dudes that was hot shots with these fucking glasses. You fucking crazy. I can't you. I'm going to find a picture of some shit with Mike with some legendary glasses like this. When he was golfing had them Lance Armstrong pups Lance Armstrong, he was a legend too. He won. He's a, he's a fucking universal, a universal all all American champion, all universal champion. Lance the fuck Ar is you talking? Okay. Like when you Lance check somebody, Armstrong you have to check was them with love. he was good at riding bikes. Fellas, that was something. That's I do have to check people with respect and love. If you check yeah, me, right. you disrespecting yeah. me. I'm missing the whole fucking message. You know what I mean? If you checking me, but you you putting me down, or you trying to, you know, I think it's important that you show somebody respect. Respect is everything, especially in a relationship and friendship. Right. I got girlfriends I've been friends with for 17 years. You ain't going to meet too many bitches with friends that long. No, you right. You fuck, me and my you're bitch not. been down for 15 years 17? plus. No, you ain't going to find we it. We check the shit out of each other, but you right. have to respect each other. Because right. I'm not going to hear you if you're trying to play me while you checking me. I can't hear that. It seems like we living in a town right now where it's though nobody fuck with each other too long. Yeah. Like you could just go on Instagram, see somebody, oh, they, don't, they don't fuck with them no Even more. Even in relationships. They don't fuck with them no more. Right. And everything like is momentarily. That. Because, yes. because, because motherfuckers, a lot of times motherfuckers fuck with each other for... <laughs> Beneficial purposes. Right. What can you do for me? Right. That Instagram. And then it's a up. what have you done for me lately type of yes. situation. So over. you know how it go. But let's get into this million dollars worth. This million dollars worth of, million million worth of game, game is brought to you by Manscape. See, one thing I like about Manscape is like, like for instance, women love when you're clean down there. You like when your man when he clean down there. Right? Listen, you like him when you ball. Like see, when a nigga ball. So, so it's really ball. And see, oh, one thing crazy. about man, you want a nigga pull a ball eagle out on you, skin no hair, skin. no. Oh, one thing about this, you one know, knock it till you try no. it. Listen, who the what man gonna go all naked down there? Me. Like on, the Why nigga wouldn't? that you request. You got to clean. And you got to understand this. One thing about the Dog, lawnmower 3.0. The, like the, the, la the lawnmower 3.0, it Shave got the LED like light pussy. on there. So when you got a pussy dick. Why you don't never near it? 
No, I never did that. You know what? Try I actually, nair, I actually nair tried it, but it burned. They got the pain, man. So I never. It, I said, wow! And I, and I put nair on my head when I was they in jail. The they sold it. The black well. magic. That's what's on commentary. That's, that's shit dangerous, but they had nair too. I put that on there. So and that shit burned my hair up. And one of my homies, Where he had the put the fucking some, gels, man. Listen, listen, shout out to all the people in the joints. But listen, he burnt my joint. But listen, let me say this, though. One thing I like about the lawnmower, it got the LED light on there. That's and, right. and, and the battery lasts for 90 minutes. So when Your glasses got lights on them? Huh? Your glasses got lights on them? That might be my new shit. That might be the drip drip Buzz alert. Lockier. Glasses with light on it. That's a new drip alert. I'm ready to drop on them. Merch. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get with a company Come to put the joints on and put lights so on. So just just cut the lights Buzz on at nighttime. Light, yeah, the joints on the side so you can see clearly and people yeah. can see you coming. I literally That's never hated an inanimate Listen, object. So back much. in the day. But back in the day, I'm going to tell you about that. I but fucking hate your glasses. Listen, bad. it don't even matter. Lawnmower. You better get your listen, one thing about this is lawnmower. You better start hooking up for Gina. You better start cleaning your stuff up. You know what I mean? You got your lawnmower, so we're going to activate that. So Clean if you're your not bald, what are you? Like, just gotta, yeah, you, you got, got a number bush. one, number seven? You got a hustle. He got a bush. But Let me tell you something. You just trim it? I I can see you trimming it down, but going butt you. naked. That's another story. You got a pussy Every, penis. To everybody what do out you there, do? To everybody out there that want to go butt naked. Gilly's not giving it up. Yeah, it don't matter. To everybody out there that want to go <laughs> butt naked, use the promo code. Go to manscaped.com. Use the promo code GAME. You get 20% off and free shipping right now. Manscaped.com. 20% off. Code GAME. You get free shipping. Listen, highlight them. Boom. That's a lawnmower 3.0. Like I use the cologne and all that. Yeah, you it. love it. Did but, you use the ball cologne yet? Like that's a cologne, no. like the ball deodorant. They got the ball deodorant. They you got ball deodorant. Yeah, you ain't using that. But listen, that's the whole. Give me Balls the game. are so smelly. I was just talking about that. Oh, you, how often uh, do y'all bathe? Let me ask you a question. So, so how often did <laughs> y'all you? Y'all not answering my so, question. So you oh, no, like I shower every day. Time. How often Sometime do you Tuesday. bathe? How often do you submerge your every ball fucking sack? Day. No. Oh, I don't do that. I don't take. I don't take tub in the tub. Submerge your testicles in hot water. Oh, this nigga only had one bath since one bath since seventy six. They don't have tubs upstate. Now that you home, how often do y'all bathe? I get in the tub all the time. He don't get in the tub. I don't get in the tub. I, I think it's tub. very important for you to submerge your testicles. Nigga don't even soak his Listen, nuts. Listen, just imagine getting in the nigga tub. Nigga soaked like, his nuts one no, time no, in the last 30 years. Just imagine a sack of skin real close to your bones. Nigga ain't been in the tub Listen, since he I understand was, what you're saying. was a kid. Well, I understand what you're saying, but think about this. Nigga no, ain't been no, in the tub. Think about this. You need to wash your balls in the tub. I like to get in the shower and get right out. You never know if something's going to fucking happen. That's why the shower time is real. It's straight to the point. Shower in, shower out. You twice a week. I appreciate your bath. You got to sit the hot dog in some water sometimes, bro. Yes. No, that's another story. But it's like, a second skin next to game, your butthole. Like, me and I was with a game, man. We ain't so. trying to hear nothing I about the I appreciate that, Gilly Babes. Gotta, you got to sit the hot dog and beans and, and some so water, man. And it's so comfortable, ain't it? Like the yeah, hot water bro. on your back, the right. bubbles, bath that's salts, That's just the reality. Blunt. You got to start taking baths, because you've been a little musty. I'm going to keep it all the way No, he lying on me. 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 I mean, I didn't want to change your name to ML, Musty Low. You feel what I'm saying? Wow. For real. But let's do, let's do it this. It smells right. very good in here for the Million viewers. Worth Nobody game, smells right. too bad today. Thank you. Now you got a little stench coming from you too, but I ain't want to say wow. nothing. No, I'm just playing with you. I'm he just playing, playing with you. He called <laughs> twice before this shit started. Hey, this so is run with yes, that. he did. Run Snitch with that. Back. Yes, Three he did. Times. You hear me? This million dollars worth of game, right? I just want to tell all the youth, right? All the youth, right? I ain't really want to go into my my DM and get a question out of there, and I just want to tell the youth the importance of of just being a leader, man. Mm. Just being a leader and understanding that it's cool to be like, nah, that shit y'all doing ain't for me, man. I'm cool. I'm going to stay in my lane, man. The problem is, man, when you young, you be trying to develop what lane you're going to go in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you might know a lane ain't even for you, but you pick it because that's the lane for your man. And he, so, he, he already know what lane is for him. You still trying to figure your way out, but you pick that lane because you ain't being a leader, you're being a follower. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, I don't really want to. I'm going to keep it all the way real. It's been times that I don't want to do shit on some revenge shit, and I really didn't want to do it. I ain't heard it. You know, niggas punched on you, nigga. You the fuck? <laughs> I ain't. I'm cool. They ain't do nothing. To me. But you you do it because you feel like it's this. You got this fake ass allegiance alliance with 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 niggas who you probably ain't even gonna be friends with five years from now. Mm. So just like Wallo said, if a nigga risk his life for you, do that mean he your friend? If a don't be one of them youngins that gotta go to the penitentiary to realize that. 
I used to hang with 10 niggas and I only really got two friends. Mm. Don't be one of them niggas to figure it out. Then you come home from jail uh, after doing the dime, man. I ain't fucking with niggas, man. Shit. You knew you shouldn't have been fucking with niggas back then. Because I truly believe that. And this is just what I truly believe. I truly believe that the smart niggas that indulge in the bullshit, the shit happened to them niggas the fastest. Because God know, bitch, you know better. Mm -hmm. Little Ron Ron grew up with his mom was, was dead, his father went, his father was in jail, his grandma was 65, she was asleep by six o'clock, he could do anything the fuck he wanted growing up, it's five, seven, eight, he never had a curfew, niggas was 13, could come in with it. God know that nigga, it, he ain't really had no, he ain't had no shot yet out here. He's still trying to figure out shit. That's just what I believe. Mm -hmm. I believe that's really how it go. The motherfuckers that really know, why the fuck am I doing this dumb ass shit? A lot of times they go to jail where they get killed the fastest. Mm -hmm. Because they ain't even really all the way in with what they doing. They one foot in and one foot out. I know I shouldn't be doing this shit. God damn, thanks. Motherfucker, little Ron Ron go rob some shit. You like this nigga, nigga, nigga. Yeah, nigga. We got that bag, nigga. You like this, thank God. <laughs> so at the end of the day, to all the youngins, man, try your best, man, to be a leader, man, and follow what's in your heart, man, and not what's in another nigga's heart, man. Because, because at the end of the day, when you go on trial, it's going to be you against that motherfucking jury. Mm -hmm. It's going to be you against that judge. When you go in that casket, they ain't put nobody in that motherfucking casket with you. It's going to be you that take that fucking Honda Accord ride to heaven, man. So just, I just wanted to put that on the youngins out there, man, because I, we keep losing more and more young niggas every day. It seems like every time we turn around, somebody we know and I wanna, came um, across and got murdered or getting a thousand sick. years or so. I got to... Uh, I gotta, uh, I gotta add to that, and uh, I want to take my motherfucking shots off for this, so you can look into my eyes. Please do. I want you to look into my eyes. I want you to understand this shit. All them years that I spent in jail, what fucked me up more than anything was that everybody that I knew that was doing life, they all killed the motherfucker about some shit they don't even know. I'm talking about some shit that could have been, I'm talking about resolved. I'm talking about some minute shit. I'm talking about some, nobody, and I'm saying the thing, when you think about it, like motherfuckers out here killing motherfuckers every day, just killing motherfuckers about shit that can be talked about. I'm talking about everybody is just so, I'm talking about filled with all these, um, everybody's ultra emotional and just Angry. everything soon as something happened, they got these reactions. Like, and I, and I, but, but it seemed like most people, they got reactions like women these days. Like, yes. from being around, it seemed like everybody was around their mom too much. And like, yes. and I, and, and it's due to a lot of dudes not being in a, in a, in a child's life. They don't have no man around. The young boy, he growing mm -hmm. up with his, with his, with his sisters and his, and his cousins, his girl cousins, his aunts, and all them around. Mm -hmm. It seemed like dudes just grab these female traits, the traits of, and you know, when a woman they snap, they can't do anything. Ah, they, they bust your windows out. It's just this crazy, extreme shit they go to. You know what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about, like, this shit take, you done shot a motherfucker and killed him and don't even know why you walking around in a yard for 40 years. I'm talking about nobody, nobody, can, and it's not something that I ask somebody, but it's just the fact of everybody that I know, Sully's and everybody that did this time, it's like nobody got a, and I ain't saying there's a reason, nobody, they just like, Man, what happened is we was arguing. Next thing you know, gun went off. You never met nobody yeah, with I a keep, solid reason. No, it ain't no solid. Now, I knew one motherfucker. Somebody slapped his grandma. He was from down North hurt. Philly. Yeah. Somebody did something to his grandma. Now, that reaction is a different reaction. Yeah, yeah. All right, but but there's nobody that can say all this shit was about, yeah, the corner. Nigga, that corner wasn't yours. You killed the motherfucker about something that y'all could resolve. Mm. He was slanging on the corner. I killed him. Or he said this. I killed him. Now, motherfuckers is getting killed off of this. Just Instagram. tighten something. Yes. I'm going to slide through. Motherfucker kill you about that shit. Yes. Right. Like a motherfucker, I slid through, y'all wasn't out there. Motherfucker would take your life about an Instagram post, and then you know what they'd do? A motherfucker would take your life, and then they'd fuck everything up that their mother worked for, because now their mom got to mortgage the house, get the money to a lawyer that's, that's going to sell you out. You ain't going, he's not going to beat the case. Right. Because 
uh, uh, newsflash, they got you running down the street on every camera on the block. The poppy store got you on the camera. The Chinese store got you on the camera. The hair salon got you on the camera. Miss Barbara Jean house, they got a camera outside because uh, her uncle no electricity. I mean, I mean, her son got electricity game, so he put that out. Everybody got a camera. Mm -hmm. What is 20,000 to fight it's, a homicide? It's, no, but listen. In a block, in a city block, is a zillion cameras. Motherfuckers got rings on their door. It's a thousand cameras. Like, and motherfuckers are still doing some some crazy shit. So mm -hmm. you really need to think about what you're doing and how they your hide. actions is going to affect the environment. You got all these people. Y'all fucking up people's property value. People trying to bring the neighborhood up. Motherfuckers worrying about gentrification. No, you need to be worrying about the motherfucker that's fucking up the neighborhoods right now and fucking up the value in it. Right. And for the people that own them homes and the people that stay in it ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. So you'll post up and fuck somebody's whole shit up. And then you go to jail, you fucking your mom, money and all that shit. They trying to pay for these lawyers. And then you in there, you crying and you bitching. Mm -hmm. Like my whole thing, stand on you. Stand on what you do. Right. One thing I, I do. Come on, stand you, on what you, you do. do no crying. No, this motherfucker. Thing. No, listen, you I went right no in there, worked in the kitchen, did my, did my time. Went in there, everybody thought I was crazy reading right. But what I'm saying is, stand on that shit. You ain't come home bitter. No, that's the whole thing. Did the dude being in jail. This the whole joint in jail. Let me, and I know some of y'all done heard this. Yeah, man, everybody out there, they suckers and motherfuckers is rats and motherfuckers is this. Soon as somebody, soon as you go to jail and ain't nobody fucking with you, you was terrorizing the whole neighborhood, bro. Like, nobody fucking with you. Don't nobody mm -hmm. owe you. Newsflash to everybody out there that's packing them, they got your hammer on you, you ready to move, you ready to put somebody down, you ready to drop somebody, you got the 30 on you, got all that shit. It's going to be a lonely ride. Mm -hmm. Even when you in that ground you or doing that bit. Ain't nobody no sending you shit. <laughs> Because let me tell you something, as soon as you leave the block and they say guilty and that motherfucking judge sends you, what's going to happen is it's going to be another young boy that's going to come on the block and they're going to forget you because he's going to be more treacherous and savage than you. So at the end of the day, don't be mad when you go to jail and you think the world mm -hmm. going to stop. The world is not stopping for you, bro. At Ain't nobody, uh, Shorty, she going to start fucking with Boo Boo. You Raheem. They will literally forget about you. They will forget about your ass. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. You did some time, right? Yeah, I did some time. Welcome you to the you, you do stories from the stories cell. from the Tell cell brought to you by white girl from you in jail no i ain't what the fuck black girl white girl okay white um, girl black girl mona my first celly um when i got when i first got in the room what'd you go to jail for well damn that's how we doing it like, yeah fuck you mean you live your truth what you go to jail for? i went to jail for robbery and firearms what you go to jail for gun possession and manufacturing uh, and distribution oh you was out here trapping wait, wait, talk the fuck up fuck you whisper i before. said gun possession and manufacturing and drugs. <clears throat> what i got food stamps in two different cities no i went to jail for guns and coke and shit what everybody go to jail for okay, okay. Go to jail that's for the, the guns and coke. okay say no more go ahead all right Two squirrels. I told you the story. Um, crazy. Did you ever had a moment where you thought you was a big drug dealer because you had a little and you only really had bullshit drugs and you thought you was really winning? First of all, I thought I was the shit because I used to get the hard from uh, Maryland, okay, and take it up to the Poconos. Poconos was $100 a gram. We want to really talk about it? Yeah, we want to talk about it. Okay, so. I would take Put it off to the and we not promote. Like we like just want to know our truth. All right. I think you've been wanting to say you it the whole no, I'm just, time. I'm just this saying because ridiculous. you keep backing well, it's up. It's much, here. much, much too big. Because most dicks are this size. Gil, we, Gil. We, we need you to talk. It's don't nothing come out like a dick. I've never seen the big dick. The way you grabbed that and said that, that was real spicy. Don't come out We need the hug to do it, not me, nigga. No, but you grabbed it, and I don't know. It's a lot of gay innuendos in this motherfucker. I'm gonna say that. That's cool too. And I'm straight. We don't got no problem. We ain't got no problem with the gay people. Right. We don't have no problem with that. Wildest shit in jail. Um, my first. No, we didn't say the wildest shit. We want a story from the cell. Okay, a story from the cell. Um, I got into my cell. Um, we had just met. I just moved into that unit. Mm -hmm. Um, and the girl name was Rashida. Shout out to you, Rashida. Was Rashida cute? It's still fuck you. Fuck no. Big back. Black, despicable me body. <laughs> Big at the top, small at the bottom. We call him Biggie Smalls. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> jealous. How you gonna super give a jealous. shout out and slammer? Super Jeez. jealous. Fuck you, Rashida. If you watch it, super jealous of me. Um, uh. But I was already on the top bunk because, you know, when you coming in somebody's hut, you get yeah. the top on. Uh -huh. Unless you're going to really try to bully this person into the bottom bunk. For the people at home, you don't want to be on the top. You want to be on the fucking bottom. No, the fuck you don't. No, you I don't. I want to be on the top. No, you don't. I want to be see, the I, fuck see, on the see, top. See, I, see, I, I you specialize, fucked up. I specialize. I didn't want to be close to the mic. I specialize in retreat. You did a time too, Gil? No, he didn't do no fucking time. I did enough time. He did a week. He did a week. He did a week and somebody flipped him pancake. The fuck they they called him pancake the when he came out. But well, listen, let me explain something to you. You want to be on the top. You know why I like to be on the top? Because it's a better method. If somebody come and they trying to attack you, 
When you on the bottom, it's easy to check. But when you on top, ah, that's True. when it, that's when you activate your feet. I mean, it depends on the jail. I know people that don't want to be on the bottom because it's rats in the jail. It depends what type of jail. And they're part of you feed them. You feed, put okay. a little snack down here. Let go. them activate Karate the door. Earl fucked him up. You no, only as good as your old head. Right. You know what I mean, his old head named Earl. That just says it all. Right. Um. Listen, either way, <laughs> no shade to Earl. Recipe God Earl. bless him. Um. But no, Rashida. I remember the room, the, the hut, the cell was real clean, and she was like, you know, I just like to keep it clean, and mm -hmm. you know, I'm Muslim, so I just want to keep it a certain way. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm cool with being clean. So you know, I'm getting acclimated. I lay down. She like, um, and just to run it past you, um. She goes sit on the toilet and she pulls her panties down. She farts on the toilet and she flushes her fart. She flushed her fart. Did she so, put? She ain't put the courtesy sheet up. We didn't have that. Damn, y'all was gelling. Yeah, we gelling. Uh, so um, she farts and flushes on it. So you know, I chuckle. <laughs> that was cute. She farted on it. She said, "Well, I'm gonna need you to do the same. When you have to fart, I need you to climb from up there, sit your <laughs> ass on this toilet, Damn. and then flush your fart Big away. Because I don't like to smell that shit." Big Rashida, shout out to Big Rashida. I looked that bitch dinner. I said, I'm flushing no fucking fart, bitch. You was right there. <laughs> That's one thing about jail. You have to get your respect from the door. Them bitches are taking. I'm, I'm light bright. And which, we were supposed to get Rashida. to the light skin thing. I'm light bright. They think you soft when you <laughs> light skin. Colorism affects the. You listen. I want to. I want to oh, be listen, careful listen. what I say because colorism is such a big deal. It's not just a big deal. Is that a fucking community. word? Colorism. Colorism is a word. Colorism is people being discriminated against because of their. She had you farting on tone. that drink, flushing them straight. Like like Rashida can get it today, bitch. I ain't flush no, no fart. But, 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 I ain't flushing no fart. And what today, Rashida bitch. say to you? You're not gonna tell me that Rashida ain't ain't check you about that shit. This the thing about it. Like most bullies. They don't even know how to respond when you take it right there. You know what I mean? That's why my response was, I ain't flushing no fart, bitch. Bitch. I yeah, because I see people on check Gil like that, too. Shit. I don't got a scary bone Fake in my bully. body. I'm lion-hearted. Like, bitch, you had to bang my head against this wall for me to fart in this toilet. What she She's say? like, girl, you crazy. Damn. Damn. What activities did you do in jail? Um, I used to walk the top tier and then run in the steps and then walk the bottom tier, and I would count that as one. You was working out. I always worked out. What was your favorite day. meal? Um, I like chow line, chow hall, not not in the cell, not all common. Say chow hall. What was your favorite chow hall? Meal? Chicken, of course, the once a month chicken. And um, no, no, I don't eat that shit. I like boiled eggs and turkey sausage when they give us boiled eggs. They gave y'all turkey sausage. What, what joint was you in? I, FDC federal. Oh baby. no, federal. I'm, I'm classy, state boy. They don't give you no classy. motherfucking side. I don't, don't go to no mm. state, no county. <laughs> mm, that's classy what, that, bitch. That was the only activities you had. I'm not done. I played uh -huh. basketball one time. Got crossed up by an old bitch from DC, and the bitch made my ankle swell up. Mm. Damn, First she thing never happened. She crossed me that good. Her name was Wanda. You know, Wallow is a three time state champion in a dance contest. <laughs> I thought you fl said he was a wrestler. No, he, no, he, like, flair. he was. Big flair. He was. Woo! That's, yeah, that's just like <laughs> I used to say it in the cell. He used to be like, woo. <laughs> fucking lie. No, I got another crazy jail story. Look, I got another Sally. She was this big, literally, right? She was from DC. Um, I first came in the room. She was like, "Look, you know, I don't want no trouble." Shout back. out to DC. I need shout out to DC, Southeast, everybody, Barry Farms. Um, I need both both lockers because you get you know two lockers. Oh, she she was ready to put it down on you. I'm like, what? Like, I need both lockers. But look, I'm telling you, we gonna be straight. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I can't fight this. No, bitch. she got this a bunch. Bitch is huge. No, but she, that was an OG joint. She was mic. rich. She was yeah, yeah much. She was this huge. bitch. She's ready to look out. When I tell you, hit the jackpot. I'm talking about the bitch had sweatsuits in my size. So I got any Walkman socks. Oh, so she you made so she, she made you she made you a bitch. That mic. Come closer, dude. And listen, I started she calling her. I started calling her dad, right? So my Ooh. dad did time. Dig it. Wait a minute. Look. Ooh, her dad. I'm keeping it real. I was young. Talk to me. So oh, um, I'm you. on the phone with my. <laughs> she fucked the brakes off you. <laughs> and how she gonna fuck her daughter? How are you gonna call? I'm on the phone with call my father. A bitch dad in listen, jail. My she father, fucked. My father. I told you. I looked in her I eyes him. and I said I she got him. fucked yeah. in the joint. If I got fucked in jail, I would tell it, y'all. Right, Listen, my father did 10 years of greater for right? He so I'm on the phone with my I dad. I probably know your dad. Like what year is he doing? Damon. Damon Dixon. You like that dad? Damon Dixon. We he definitely would know a nigga named Damon Dixon. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no. We that sound like a nigga. Pause, pause. Listen, so. That sound like a nigga. I'm on the phone with my father and I'm like, I'm like, Pop. I would call him Pop, the girl from D.C. Pop, what's up? What time we eating? da 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 he said, ho, 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 I know you ain't calling no bitch dad in that motherfucker. <laughs> he was like, no, you can't do that shit. Don't do that. But I'm telling you, when I tell you, we had chefs. This bitch is cooked for us. Breakfast, she's all, all over a meal. She sold a soul for meal. Like I was. suits and Walkmans and Reeboks. And Reeboks. Yes. She gave you some Reeboks? If, if, if she girl, sold your soul. That was my dad girl, and all the bitches was my stepmom. And big girl fucked the leather off. That's what I used to do. 
I used to put my chair in front of the door when she fucked bitches and I would watch out. Listen, she fucked the whole So unit. you mean to tell me she was fucking bitches? But they fuck you and you are selling. Ass. She never and tried me. She lying. looked at me like a kid. She though, had you like, between them titties. No, all jokes is everything. I need to be known. The first time I eat some pussy, y'all gonna know about it because I'm gonna wear straight backs and I'm gonna get you bitches tax refund. No, you at least got when your pussy. When I go eight. gay, I'm gonna be the boy. You at least got your pussy eight, big I girl. I have never done Pop. anything with a girl. Listen, daddy, please. And the first time I do, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come and tell you. Daddy, please this shit out, Jenny. Daddy look like Fazion Love. I don't give a fuck what daddy look like. Daddy had no, but listen, snacks. Let me, let me ask you something. And daddy had so, so, sweatsuits. So, and Walkman. Right, so, so, and daddy had that, yeah. Look, so she was rich. That bitch was rich. You know how she got rich though? Keep it real. She sold Wellbutrin. It was a depression medication, but they only gave it in D.C., so she came over with it. If you take a couple of them and feel like an E-pill, this bitch was rich. She was this shit. Shout out to Pop. All right, man, listen. Dang, she's still calling daddy. her Pop on the street. Shout but out listen, to your fucking let, daddy. Huh? Listen, this the whole twist, though. I never fucked the girls. The At the end of the These day. These bitches in my DM waiting. Your turn is coming, babe. I'm getting straight backs, and you're going to give me your money. Damn. Ooh. That's crazy. But listen, let me ask you. You think, you, think you would eat pussy good? That's the only thing. I don't, I don't think I could do that. I don't know how y'all do that. That shit is nasty. It's so hot. It's so wet. It's all in your chin, your nose. It's too much. For me to eat pussy, I would literally have to hold it and just like from far away. So you must know that. I just want it, when I go gay, I just want to like touch each other's titties. You must know y'all bitch is dirty or something. That's, That's crazy. what you tell us what you tell us what we don't know. A kitty cat cleans itself and as long as she eat right now, y'all keep fucking these bitches that wake up and drink a Pepsi. That's why when you eat a coochie, so it tastes like a battery. So you trying to tell them that. It tastes like a battery. You keep fucking with bitches that wake up to Pepsi. So you tell it, so you saying all bitches that drink. I drink water drink, and I eat mango. No, hold on. So you, you wake say, up to black and miles, So you right? saying bitches. Shut up, nigga. Yeah, you smoke fucking blacks. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. You smoke black and miles and Pepsi. You got the pussy there. tastes like a D battery. I drink water and I eat. She said that shit tastes like a D battery. You got me there. Because yeah, 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 you, yeah, right. you, you, you smoke blacks and you drink Pepsi. Black and miles endorse me. I forgot you smoke blacks. I smoke blacks. Fuck that. Let me tell you something. Tired of it. Let me Give me something. one. Let me tell you something. I cut my fucking sons off for two Smoking weeks because they smoked the fucking black. Why? Yeah, I mean, why? Because that's the that's the corniest shit. First of all, I see a you black Logan and, smoking a Newport 100. Listen, a black and mild. Who was? A, a, yeah, I do it. A, a, a dipper. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Yeah, he stripped out. He's talking about me. He stripped out too. Let me smoke dippers. He smoke dippers. A black For anybody don't know what a dipper is, like it's a cigarette dipped in a bomb and fluid. PCP and, and butt naked. Yeah. He used to smoke them all the time. She used to smoke dippers. No, you used to smoke dippers. She ain't never said that. I said I tried it. She said she tried to dip it. But you smoked the dipper too. You smoked the dipper too. These niggas is lining this up, Chris. You smoked the dipper. I tried PCP before. Okay, so let me just say something. Did you strip out? Did you get naked? Yeah, she got no, naked. I froze though. So you was like this. <laughs> Gil got naked on AF. <laughs> Did you try it for real? Yeah. He got naked on AF. I feel like in our age group, he stripped out. They called me. How, how Gil don't naked. Come get him. Did you really He's, strip? He stripped out, folded his clothes up, put him on the on the side of the curb, and was sitting there. I'm like, yo, got pull up. He got his drawers. I'm like, yo, guys, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, come I on, don't throw know him in the what car. People seeing that shit, it's just not fun. He love to get naked. Hey, hey, fuck you, me. I love to get naked. Pause. He love to get naked. Pause. Yo, what years was your dad up the greatest for? My father did from 90 he to like trying 99. trying to find out who Damien no, Dixon up, is. He was up there the same time. <laughs> Man, get the fuck out of here. You might know him, though. I was going to call him up he, here. He know him. He know Dame. My dad turned the five to the ten in the ten because he's short. He had to. Okay. You know, get up off That's him. how Gil. That's how I was for That's Gil. real, Joe. I feel like my Dixon. bed <laughs> wasn't. Cause FDC is like a county jail. When you when you well, upstate, that's real Lil Kim jail. Did a year. I never been a, Lil Kim. Me and Lil Kim did a year in the same spot with the same sentence, a year and a day. It gave you the good time. Did you feel as though you months. was connected with Kim? Cause y'all did the same bit. Did you feel like you was Lil Kim Fuck in the jail? No, cause I ain't work for the war and I worked in the kitchen like the rest of the bitches did. She got it like a comfy job, comfy cell, everything. So. Oh, she got the she got yeah. the whole package. I don't know. But FDC was cool. I had one of the most highest paid je- um, but was jobs. All the girls I was, a you, was all the girls. And I would let niggas grind on a bitch a little bit before we took the picture. So I would let him Oh, that was nice legend. Little, I'm a real bitch. But listen, let me ask you a if question. If you was an ADC in 08, you, let me tell you 09, something, you know, I took your picture, nigga, and I let you touch that bitch titties twice at least. And you a real bitch, but I'm just, going, I'm just, I just, we just going to subtract one thing. The B&Ms. We getting rid of them. Shit, we getting rid of the B&Ms. First of all, your manager over there, he's a piece of shit. Agreed. Uh, he lets you smoke B&Ms. 
I got the kind of My manager told me To get an OnlyFans Oh no He said He in the background Talking about the manager <laughs> oh, yeah, before Let He wasn't dead out on it He said it was the no, manager no. before She said, she said but You ain't see You ain't see How manager, manager Try to go for manager To pimp He said get an OnlyFans Yeah OnlyFans He said This is how he kicked it to me though Y'all Nigga, this how he kicked It's to no mack big one. deal You always take a bath On Instagram It's just you know On OnlyFans yeah, but now, yeah, He tried He tried to mack He tried to put that the OnlyFans on that that nigga trying to put a He pimp. like, yo, is this shit day to day? You take a bath on Instagram you know, all the time. Download the app. I'm going to keep it all the way real. Bitch posted her OnlyFans joint for they the month. They getting money, Gil. I said. They getting money, Gil. Shit. They getting money, Gil. Sit this bitch. They getting money, Gil. You subscribe to any OnlyFans page? No, but you know what? You know what I'm thinking about? Y'all pay to be in close friends? No, we, 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 we might need to go back stripping again and do an OnlyFans page. I have never met a, a male stripper that wasn't gay. Well, we wasn't. I'm just keeping it a thousand. Pistol Pack and Pete, right? It's the only straight talk. male dancer wait, wait, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Because <laughs> you want some other shit, Tommy. What? You, did you just say we going to make a page? I said that we started dancing. A group dance. joint? Stripping <laughs> joint? <laughs> Gilly, you dance? We used to dance. We were stripping. We were the stripper duo. I know you duo. used to dance, but I didn't know he did. Yo. What the fuck you mean? You ain't know he was my partner. Yo. I thought it was just we you. We wasn't partner. And he was security. We, we danced at the same oh. time. How you tag you me took me, you took me to the fucking Yo. spot. How you and I was at the age. I was only 17. You said, come on, while you partners. Strip. You took me around the 7 in. Or off, off of Germany. We talent. wasn't partners, though. But Don't saying, say we was partners. We came in together. You just asked me, like, we going to make a page. <laughs> no, no, I say it again. Man's only stripper. It's like, what type of I ain't say it again, but I ain't say it know again. Damian Dixon. He definitely know Damian Dixon. No, you trying to say a pop is don't do now, that. Now, oh, you no, didn't no. went too far. No, I'm yeah. just saying his last name was Dixon. That's like, I remember when I was a little kid. That's why you talk about bitting on Instagram, hurting your feelings, harassing, bullying. My little, my cousins told me when I was nine, your father's sucking dick upstairs. Like <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, we going to end Million Dollars Worth of Game on that note. Listen, man, appreciate y'all tuning in each and every week to Million Dollars Worth of Game. We don't want to put your daddy out there blazing his hammers upstate. <laughs> you hear me? We going to end Million Dollars Worth of Game like this. We appreciate y'all tuning in each and every week, making us the number one music podcast in yeah. the country. Make sure y'all get your merch. You see it? Don't threaten me with Barstool. a good time. Yeah, he lying Bars on me. sports. He lying on me. Yeah, he was lying he on me. Always nut ass nigga always say. Yeah, you know I mean, make sure y'all get y'all shit at Bars through sports. Follow me. Follow Mona. Don't you know call I mean? me white girl. We don't girl. know if this is our first time or our last time. Listen, we but I gave it all I got, Absolutely, bitches. and that's all we can ask from you. Appreciate y'all. And, 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 you know. Follow me, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Don't call me white girl. She is a white girl, though. Mm. White girl. Show I call her white girl. Manhattan. I call her Mona. Buy a Mama ticket. Link in the bio. I'm going to call her. And she got the new OnlyFans coming, she said. All right. And I am black. African-American. White girl. All right. 100%. And it's just like that. Right!